Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Tunisian President Qais Saeed on the anniversary of his country's Republic Day. His Majesty wished the President abundant health and happiness and the brotherly Tunisian people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty praised the depth of the steadily growing solid fraternal relations between the two countries and their people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 39 of 2022 appointing His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa as Under Secretary at the Ministry of Labour. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Tunisia, Qais Saeed, on the occasion of Tunisia's Republic Day. His Royal Highness wished the President abundant health and happiness and the brotherly Tunisian people further progress and prosperity and hailed the depth and development of the bilateral relations. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Tunisia, Najla Boden. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Under Secretary of the Court of Cassation and Chairman of the Bahrain Hajj Mission, Sheikh Adnan Al Gattan, and members of the High Committee for Hajj and Umrah Affairs at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness praised Saudi Arabia's efforts in safeguarding the health and safety of pilgrims from the Kingdom of Bahrain and around the world. He highlighted Saudi Arabia's commitment to providing the highest standards of services and facilities to the pilgrims under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, with the support of the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, which is reflected in the continued success of the annual Hajj season. His Royal Highness expressed his thanks to the High Committee for Hajj and Umrah Affairs for their efforts in facilitating the pilgrims' journey for both citizens and residents. He congratulated Bahrain's pilgrims on their safe return from Hajj. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, and Chairman of the High Committee for Hajj and Umrah Affairs, Nawaf al Maouda, Sheikh Adnan al Gattan, and the committee members expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and for his ongoing support to the committee's efforts in facilitating Hajj for citizens and residents. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, also attended the meeting. Government hospitals officials confirmed an increase in the number of operations at Salmania Medical Complex by 35% in June, where 1,210 surgeries were performed in 13 different medical specialties compared to the previous month. Officials noted their keenness to continue developing the quality of health services for all, according to the highest standards of global health services. They also affirmed keenness to continue efforts in formulating strategies aimed at developing the services available in all government hospitals, especially in the Salmania Medical Complex complex. They said that the decrease in the waiting list for surgical operations in the Salmania Medical Complex comes as a result of a specific mechanism that has been put in place in addition to the efforts of all departments as well as the development of new projects, most notably the project to operate in the evening on Saturdays.
The Assistant Undersecretary for Local and Foreign Trade at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa, affirmed that consumer protection made over 120,000 BD and recovered more than 11,000 in favor of consumers who filed complaints. This move is based on the Consumer Protection Directorate's keenness to provide direct service to resolve consumers' complaints on commercial institutions' owners, according to the commercial transactions that were conducted between both parties. 2,772 complaints were filed and 68% of them were resolved in the first half of this year. In line with the goals of the National Program for the Treatment of Heart Attacks, the Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Specialized Cardiac Center launched the Treasure Your Heart campaign. More in this report. Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Center launched the Treasure Your Heart National Awareness Campaign to promote heart health and early intervention in the case of acute heart attacks. The campaign is part of national efforts to provide high quality and sustainable health care, which is a priority for all government health institutions to guarantee the safety and well being of all citizens and residents. In January 2022, the center launched the National Acute Heart Attack Program, which aims to treat all patients with acute heart attacks, and more than 400 patients had undergone emergency surgery to treat their heart attacks since the launch of the program. The Treasure Your Heart campaign aims to support the National Acute Heart Attack Program by providing basic essential information about the heart disease and helping raise awareness about the risk factors and the best ways to treat and prevent them. Youth City 2030 is opening its doors in its 11th edition, which is organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs in cooperation with its strategic partner, Temkeen. Youth City 2030 is offering 2,400 training opportunities through its various programs. The city fulfills the labor market requirements by providing 70 training programs for the youth, enhancing their skills and highlighting their talents in various fields. Bahrain's natural gas production over the past year has reached more than 921 billion cubic feet, approaching 1 trillion cubic feet per year. Bahrain's production rose from 886 billion cubic feet in 2020 to 921 in 2021, with a growth of 3.7 percent. Data showed that Bahrain's production during the first quarter of last year reached 211 billion cubic feet. In the second quarter, production reached 232, while in the third quarter it reached 256 and 200. 26 in the fourth quarter. The King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al-Hussein said in an interview with the Rai newspaper that his country faces regular attacks in its border from militias linked to Iran. He talked about drug and arms smuggling operations targeting Arab countries and stressed the need to establish an Arab institutional defense system to confront these threats. King Abdullah stressed that Iranian interference affects Arab countries and expressed hope that Iran would change its behavior for the benefit of everyone in the region, including Iran and its people. He pointed out that these threats require Arab cooperation to respond to them, especially the renewed dangers of terrorism and the organized smuggling networks of drugs and weapons. The President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Hassisi, received Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Cairo, where the two sides held joint talks. The Russian Foreign Minister also met with his Egyptian counterpart, Salma Shikri, within the framework of his official visit to Egypt as part of his African tour. Lavrov is also scheduled to meet Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abul Ghait and representatives of member states. He will also deliver a speech before the League's Council at the delegates' level. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud received Kazakhstan President Qasem Jamar Tokayev upon his visit to Jeddah. An official reception ceremony was then held for Tokayev at the Royal Court at his Salam Palace, followed by a session of talks. The two leaders reviewed the bilateral relations between their countries and discussed enhancing cooperation in various fields and a number of issues of common interest.